Hello everyone, it's Leon and I am joined by Joel. Hello, back once again. Who has been reviewing Battlefield 4 on PS3. Yes, PS3, resolutely PS3. And what did you give it? I gave it 7. 7? Oh, right. 7 marks out of 10. That uh, seems lo- well, it's lower than I would have thought. It- <laughs> and I've been playing it. And- it's... I mean, I, I'm really fatigued by games like this, yeah. so, like, to some extent I'm, I wouldn't necessarily biased, but, like, sceptical at best. Um, it's got some good stuff in it, but it's so, so familiar for me, um, and I think without the extra technical whiz-bangery of PS4, i.e. Uh, 60 FPS, 1080p, 64-player multiplayer battles. Um, I think without that, it's very, very the same as last year. I mean, I I look back on what we wrote about last year's game, and, and so much of it is applicable to this. It's essentially a cod-aping pastiche with lots of loud, fairly impressive like set pieces, mm. but it's a bit of a slog. You don't really care what's happening, and the multiplayer is still really good. It's- so, like all of that to me, added up to a game that is good but hasn't really progressed enough. And like I say, without the the additions that the PS4 tech brings, it, it felt very 70 to me. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I mean, I, I feel like I've, I've sort of enjoyed it, but I do feel like the more EA are trying to force DICE to copy COD, the less good Battlefield's getting. It's sort of, it's saving grace originally that was that it wasn't COD. Mm. And now they just seem to be kind of almost replaying COD yeah, moments. exactly, and, and I'm bored of that, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. I, I, I sort of started to think that Battlefield games would review better if they knocked the tenor off the price and only had multiplayer in it. Yeah. I think people would be more sympathetic to, to it in terms of scoring it, because that's really all people want from Battlefield. It was I mean, always a focus, If you buy Battlefield, you, you might play the campaign just because it's there, but you're never going to really spend much time on it or care that much, and kind of with good reason, because it's not very good. Um, they don't... I wouldn't say like, and I haven't played Ghosts, but from talking to Phil about Ghosts, it's not like massively innovative, but they've at least changed things up a little bit. Yeah. There's like a bit more stealth, there's a bit less endlessly hunkering down behind cover while waves of enemies run at you. This has got a lot of that, um, and it feels very, very like the FPS, sort of modern FPS as we've been playing pretty much since the first Modern Warfare. It does feel a little bit like, um, almost like they're playing catch up, because DICE are a very good st- a very good studio at making amazing multiplayer experiences. They're yeah. sort of continually being forced to make this single player game and they've probably now got it to a stage that Call of Duty was at maybe Modern Warfare kind Yeah, of. exactly. Um, I mean look at I mean if you look at all this, like technically it's very impressive. Uh, it does look quite nice. There is a couple of issues like the textures sometimes just disappear for a yeah. really long time. The, the ocean does some weird things um, in this level. Yeah, like. the ocean mucks about a bit. Um, and again like this sounds terrible, but having played it on PS4, you then go back to this and you just go, well, it's not the same. Yeah. Um, and, you know, that's uh, maybe a little bit unfair, but it's unfortunately the reality of where we are at the moment. You know, you you see how good it looks on, on next gen, and suddenly coming back to this, you're basically left with a decent looking but very, very familiar shooter experience. It does have some different stuff. I mean, there's, there's very basic squad commands now you can issue with uh, R2 tell your troops to engage, uh, that's kind of helpful. There's a nice, um, I mean, like I say, it's just one button, now. it's not really yeah. that in detail. There's quite a nice... Um, the thing, sorry, the problem with that button as well is that if you don't press it, what are they doing? Do they, they'll just stand around going, well, I'm not well, going to shoot sometimes anyone. Sometimes they do engage and sometimes they don't. I think really it's there if you decide you want to target stealthily and um, not have them rush in because right. there are bits where you can kind of sneak in and knife people up I didn't um, notice any of those yeah you have to really look hard um, <laughs> and then there's like there's quite what I quite like the um, inventory system has been completely changed so like when you come up to an ammo crate this time instead of it just refilling your bullets you can pick from any of the weapons you've unlocked at any point yeah. which gives you a little bit more options in terms of like tactical approaches and stuff but I think most people will do what I did and find the gun they like the best and then just stick with that really. Um, it's like they, they've obviously think these things are like concessions to multiplayer because they work how they work in the multiplayer game. So they've realised let's let's overlay the strong half of the game onto the weak half and see if that will kind of cover up its cracks. Yeah. And it does for a while but then after a bit you're just kind of there going wow I've seen this before. This level actually we're seeing now I found incredibly tedious. It, this, I mean this could be a World War 2 level couldn't it? I mean yeah. you, you could be rolling down Ardennes or whatever it is in France. It's you know. just uh, the level design's really uninspired it's just blocky skyscrapers and slow moving tanks shooting each other. Yeah. Um, unfortunately the dialogue's not great um, 
they've tried a little bit more to make you care with the characters and stuff. Um, and it's not that it's badly voiced particularly or badly acted, it's just it's not written very well, so it's a little bit, it's all a little bit cliche and kind of military who are backslapping. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really sort of, I don't know, like something like COD, for example, when it, when it really hits its marks, you know, it sort of picks you up and takes it along on its sort of momentum and its sort of excitement. This yeah. is just a, very stern men frowning at you and going, the telling you to go somewhere. The is actually really quite bad. Like, in between levels, there are these really long, arduous scenes where you're doing, like, walk and talks through boats yeah. or, like, men standing over maps, moving little ships about, and <laughs> that kind of really nerfs any sense of momentum and pace about it. Um, this level was quite good. Like, yeah. you, you can be quite stealthy. I managed to cock it up royally, but you can, you can be quite yeah. stealthy and pick people off. Um... I'm being quite harsh. Like I say, it's really more a case of fatigue than this is a bad game, because it isn't. The shooting feels really quite good, although enemies take probably a couple too many bullets. The range of guns is nice. Um, grenades I found really enjoyable, which I don't I don't normally use grenades in first-person shooters. I, I, quite really, good yeah, I didn't get much out of them, actually. Um, and then, like, you know, of course, well, the, the multiplayer is the multiplayer, and it's really good. Um, but multiplayer in Battlefield is always really good. Uh, and unfortunately, like I say, all the stuff you can do, you could do more of it and better once you're on PS4, basically. Yeah. Um, this was by far my <laughs> favourite part of the entire game. Uh, and you watched me playing this, and I I cocked it up a few times, I'm not going to lie, but I really couldn't see what I was doing so wrong. I just wait, because I, I played, when I played it, I just I just drove to the ship and got on. And when but I the ship and keeps going away. When I captured it, I just drove to the ship and got on. Oh, well, it's obviously It's one then. of those weird moments. Like, I was trying to get to the ship, and the ship just seemed ever further away. And the, the boats just sort of came out of nowhere, and I don't know. And the sea looks rubbish yeah. as well, by the way. Um, I mean, I think, I think the interesting thing is they're, they're still trying to perfect a game that people were getting fatigued of at the beginning of this generation. Gotta let it go. I mean, the trouble is they... They won't. Neither COD nor Battlefield will let it go. No. Partly because, well, entirely because the game sells so well. But the game sells so well because people play the multiplayer. Yeah. That's why people buy. Primarily, why people buy COD and Battlefield every year. And, and the multiplayer is always good. The multiplayer is excellent. I mean, it really is excellent. But it's been excellent for ages. It's hasn't changed that much. But it doesn't need to change that much. So that's fine. Like I said, I just I wonder if they'll get to the point. And I've asked them about this, and they've kind of said. No, but maybe if they'll just one day go, we're gonna just make a multiplayer game. I think for Battlefield especially, it would make perfect sense. Yeah, and or with digital could, download, yeah, becoming you know, you could just have a digital download version of. Or the other thing they the could game. do is, is outsource the single player portion to another studio, um, which is yeah. you know not an impossible idea. What I'd really like to see, and what I think both franchises could do with doing, is they release a game which is essentially the multiplayer is like and just an evolution but the single player is like something completely different and experimental it could even be like a I don't know like a two or three hour very short but like simplistic survival FPS or, yeah. or something like that because really no one's going to be annoyed about that because they'll still get the multiplayer they're expecting and they'll also just get something unexpected in the single player portion I'd much rather see that next year obviously well, it won't happen yeah I mean COD, COD have taken that step haven't they where they you know have pushed it a little bit into the future it's not it's not true sci-fi but you know they that, that's given them a bit of room to open it up with a few new gadgets yeah, and Battlefield is stuck in yeah. the present COD's a little bit sci-fi a little bit more stealth um, and just just kind of a I think the, the variety of objectives seems to be greater than in, in Battlefield um, whereas this really is a case of enter room get behind cover shoot yeah. man move forward enter cover shoot man and I think we've all done that quite a lot at this it, point it just weirdly reminds me of um, I think it was modern was it Battlefield 2 Modern Warfare which was like the one at the end of PS2 uh, and, and now because my brain's kind of clicked onto net like PS4 because I spent, I spent a lot of time playing Killzone at, at Gorilla and now I, that's all my head's full of this I look at this and I just see that end of generation PS2 yeah, game it does and it does feel a bit like that um, like I say in the single player side of things in the multiplayer side of things you'll still have a good time yeah. nice big maps lots of players lots of explosions tactics blah 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 um, I, I would recommend if you like Battlefield I'd recommend just getting this on PS4 and you'll have a wonderful time with the multiplayer it's not a bad game by any stretch of the imagination it's just if you are feeling a bit of militaristic FPS fatigue you're not this isn't going to change your mind this isn't going to refresh yeah. things for you the thing the thing it needs to freshen stuff up is is still getting more and more stale basically yeah. uh, good bits but probably not enough new bits I would say uh, so that's kind of why I, I sevened it rather than anything higher <laughs> sevened it yeah cool. okay well there you go 7 out of 10 probably best waiting for for PS4